We are interested in, in water and the weird properties of water. You may know that uh, water has strange properties such as a density maximum of, uh, of liquid water at 4 degrees C. And this is the reason why, why uh, the bottom of the ocean, the water at the bottom of the ocean is approximately 4 degrees C. Another strange property is that crystalline solid water floats on top of, of liquid water. is a very strange property and allows you to do things like ice skating. So this is interesting, not really that well understood. Um, now there's some theories about multiple theories. One of the theories predicts that there's a so-called second critical point at 220 kelvins or minus 50 degrees C. And this second critical point, I don't want to go into the details, but this, this might explain various bizarre, strange phenomena of water at very high and very low temperatures. Now there's one little problem, but if you cool down water, make it look, go below zero degrees C, you can super cool it. But at about minus 30 or thereabouts degrees, minus 38 degrees, I think is the number, it will just crystallize. So you cannot go to minus 50. So you cannot study this second critical point at minus 50. And as you cool down water very quickly to make it into a, a glass and then warm it up, it also crystallizes. So there's this area called no man's land where you cannot study the properties of water. And although this region in itself is not that interesting, understanding this second critical point is really, really, really important. So various research groups have, have, have tried to stop crystallization by locking up water in, in nano spaces. So for example, people have locked up water in, in, in carbon nanotubes and in, in proteins and the surface of proteins and other places like that. And then they say they can see the second critical point and the change of behavior. Now our approach is a little bit different and, and quite simple is we look at salt solutions. So if we look, we're looking at solutions of sodium chloride, kitchen salt, uh, magnesium chloride and lithium chloride in, in water. And to make a, a, a long story short, we, we, we believe we have seen that uh, water forms nanostructures. Uh, so we can look at the translational motions with the ultrafast techniques in the lab behind me and see that, that water is stuck in little pools and, and can only with difficulty move from pool to pool. And another technique with collaborators in Germany we can see that the water can still spin around within these uh, nanopools. So this is very interesting and we're now using this to, to study all various properties of water as it's cooled down and as you add more or less uh, salt. And we're finding interesting things such as that you can think of salt solutions in a completely different way, namely in terms of clusters, of water clusters around the positive ions which then bump into each other or jam at very high concentrations. And this suddenly explains in a very simple way the properties of, uh, of concentrated salt solutions. And it shows us that we can think of these solutions in terms of jamming. This, this is really exactly the same phenomenon as what happens when, when cars jam on the motorway. Uh, it's when they come close together, they start, start slowing down and, 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 and all the traffic slows down. In the same way, we can see that salt solutions, various properties slow down as these, these spheres, these clusters bump into each other. And our current research now uses these phenomena, these nano pools of water, to study the more basic properties of water.